All right, as promised, this will be a quick video over Model Builder and just some simple stuff, um, nothing too crazy. And today, since we have a field, you guys have already seen it before, um, but this field has low Malik 3 phosphors, so we're just going to build a model to go ahead and do a, a um, build and maintain approach to this field. Um, like I said, this will be, be simple, nothing too crazy. I've already created a model that's a little more extensive that I'll go ahead and run at the end of this video and show you guys what yours should look like. Um, so I'll go back here and if you want to start a new model you just go up to analysis and you click on model builder and it'll open up a new model and you come into properties here and you can change the name of it. We'll just name it 655 test All right, and that should go ahead and apply the name to it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is figure out what variables are going to need for this model. So first things first, we're going to need a Malik 3 map or a phosphorus map of some some sort. So we can go ahead and put that variable in here, come up and click on variable and type in since it is a raster is a raster layer. So we can go ahead and add this. We'll drag it over here. Um, we can rename it. Let's so rename Malik 3. And we need to know also um, what our crop removal is. So for this, actually, um, you type in long, it's kind of like the data that we've been using in the tables. Um, so this will just be a number that you'll put in here. So you can just click on long and drag it down here. Oops. And we'll rename it crop removal. And another thing we may need to know is our years to build. So add another variable, and this will just be another long data type. So long data cannot have any decimal points in it, so you can't put in like 3.5 years or something like that. Years to build. Okay. Now since these are all going to be parameters that we set, because we're going to be changing this, we can right click on it and make it a parameter. So that way we can utilize this um, when we're selecting our maps. So the next thing we need to do is come to tools. And this is where you find basically any tool that you've used previously in your geoprocessing. And we need a raster calculator. And I don't think it really matters which one. One is, oh, I can't remember. One is image analysis and one is spatial. And from what I can tell, um, it does not matter which one we use. Maybe it does in some cases. Correct me if I'm wrong. So when I first started building this, um, or getting to know Model Builder, I was drawing these lines manually and I actually figured out that you don't have to do that. So if we right click on a raster calculator and go to open, it's going to open up just like what we've seen before in the past. And this is where we can see our parameters that we put in here. So we can go ahead and write out our formula. 20 minus our Malik 3 map times 18 and you can find this all on the K-State cell fertility um, interpolation sheet and recommendations. I just have it memorized so I'm just going to quickly go through it. Um, so then we'll divide this whole thing. I'll go ahead and put some more parentheses make sure we do get this covered good. Divide this whole thing by our years to build which is that number and then we're going to add in our crop removal. 
All right, and then we can go ahead and rename this. Speed pounds of P205. You don't want to get these names too long or else it's not going to run it for you. You'll say you have too many characters, so just try and keep it as short and sweet as possible. So you can go ahead and click OK, and it'll go ahead and draw all those um, arrows for us so we don't have to. So now we have a map of our P205. Now there may be some negative numbers in here if we have... Um, if we go back to our raster calculator and quickly open it up, we can see that if we have anything greater than 20, it's going to actually provide us with a negative value as far as what we need to build. We may still have a positive number because of our crop removal. Um, you can go access Dr. Nelson's equation in the past and copy and put it in here. That'll work out great too. But, so now we have pounds of P205 and this is... Um, a raster map that we have here. So we need to make sure we don't have any zeros. So we'll go ahead and put in another raster calculator and drag it over here. And this is where things can get kind of messy if things aren't organized. And I'm just going to draw a linear steps here. So we can come in here and open it up. So now we can see how we have our raster map of our pounds of P205 right here that we just created back here. So to make sure we don't have any zeros, we can do a conditional statement and say that if our pounds of P205 is less than zero, we're going to make it zero. And if not, then we're going to go ahead and take the value from that same map. So that's what that's going to do. So we'll rename this. Correct. LBS. Ooh, this might get too long. I'll just say P205. Alright, so now we have our corrected P205. Um, got all of our zeros out of there. And we can come back here and drop down and grab another raster calculator. And now we need to create an integer out of these values. So that way we can convert it into a polygon format. There's one parameter I did forget, and I'll quickly go make that here after we do this. And actually, I will go make this really fast. So this one, this um, model is going to be built to basically take um, our Malik 3 map and convert it into something a rate controller can apply. And we know that rate controllers cannot apply, you know one pound, two pound, three pound, etc. They need to be on a, I guess, rounded to some number. Um, so we can go ahead and create another, type in long here, and this will just be the number that we're gonna round it to. So for this one, let's just round it to every 15, um, 15 pounds of P205. Oops, keep on messing up here, wanting to rename it. We'll just name it rounding factor. And this will be a, a parameter. In fact, I said 15 pounds of P205. This, we can change it um, in our parameters. So um, we're going to go ahead and do some black magic here and make this do what we want it to do. So this might seem a little bit confusing, but I'll try and explain as we go. But we have our corrected pounds of P205 right here. So, um, we're going to create an integer of all this and round it at the same time. So, type an in int, and we got our corrected pounds of P205. And this is where it's going to get a little bit crazy, because we're going to divide it by our rounding factor that we've just said. And in parentheses, so essentially what this is going to do is, let's say we have a recommendation for 43 pounds of P205. So it'll take and 43 divided by rounding factor for for the sake of time we'll just say we're rounding by every 10 so it'll divide that 43 by 10 and create um, a value of 4.3 
and then the integer function will go ahead and convert it to 4 and after we do that we can multiply it back by our rounding factor which would be 10 and, we, and then we round it that 43 value to um, 40. So we'll multiply it back by our rounding factor. And then this should be our raster recommendation. I'll just say raster rec. And then, yeah, this will be pounds of P205. So, and once we get all done, if we run this model, it's actually not going to show anything on our display. And we need to go ahead and say, hey, after we do all this stuff, um, we want to display this last map. And we can click Add to Display. And now go ahead and set that parameter. So we come up here, we can save it. And then the neat thing about this is we can go back to our map and our model will be found in our geoprocessing. So we can type in 655 test, there it pops up. And there's all our parameters that we have um, said that needs to do. So we can see that our Malik 3 crop removal, years to build and rounding factor are all there and we come back to map let me go ahead and open that up and we can see all these are here so we can go ahead and select here's our Malik 3 map so we'll go ahead and put it in there crop removal let's say we are taking off a hundred bushel corn um, we know the conversion factor is 0.33 pounds of P205 per bushel of corn so that would come up to be 33 pounds of crop removal uh, let's say this farmers um, with tight markets he's wanting to build over six years and his um, applicator can apply to the nearest, let's say, 15 pounds. So we can go ahead and run this and hope it works. All right, it says complete, but we can see we did not receive any information on this side. And this is the bad thing about ArcGIS Pro. But we have to come over here and you drop down your database and right click on your geo database and go to refresh and we can see we have our new um, raster rec right here and we can add it to our current map and let's see if I did everything correctly hopefully it doesn't look too crazy um, maybe it'll add still thinking alright and here is our recommendation so we can see that in the um, kind of pinkish, purplish areas, um, that's a recommendation of 30 pounds of P205. Have a recommendation of 45 here and 60 up here. Um, and yeah, I'll, you can change all the pr those parameters. And this is just kind of the first step. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one out of here. And now I'm gonna show you this model, which is a little more extensive, but it goes ahead and if I can get the zoom right, it'll take the recommendation all the way from that raster that we just saw into something you can throw to a rate controller um, that'll go ahead and adjust the polygon um, size for that particular rate controller. And this one's just named model. It's pretty generic. Um, just one I was playing around with. So we'll come back here. We'll search for the one I made earlier. And okay, so Malik 3, years to build. Let's do 4 on this one. Crop removal, we'll just do 33 pounds again, 100 bushel corn. Okay, and this is something new, but I have the percentage of P, so I can adjust to different, um, different fertilizers. So we'll just say we're using DAP. So 1846 is the percent O, and that's the way I set it up towards not a decimal point. And we're going to round to, to do the nearest 20 pounds. So we can go ahead and run this. You can see it's much more extensive. We're running through many, many raster calculators, converting things. I'm about ready to run out of time, but we can go back here and refresh. And there is our recommendation. We can add it to our current map. Change the symbology. to our grid code and see there is our recommendation and this is fit to go out to a rate controller um, so with that 
please watch this video if you have any questions just let me know